Okay, so in this exercise, it's the first time we're going to be using the function length. Length is about the size of the array. So if we have an array that it's, um, let's say you have an array called cars, then it has Toyota and then Nissan and then Tesla. So that the length of this array is three because it has three items. Then it has the positions also zero, one, and two. If you wanna console.log the position, for example, like to get the position of an array, you would do like this. Let the length, my bad, uh, array size is equal to my stupid array dot length. I'm talking about this array that, that I found here. This is not an array like the ones you're used to in the previous exercises like this, like maybe you have like bar, this, uh, like we had before, right? Let me just see if I can find it because that's gonna be a lot better, yeah. So this array here, it's different from the previous one because this one is very explicit, you know, like you have Toyota, Nissan, Tesla, you know the values of it. But I decided to make it uh, more fun or more interesting by generating the array automatically. So you don't know what it's going to be inside this array. Actually, if you run it, you will find that if you console log this array, it will be different every time. Look, 51, 6, 58. And then if I run it again, 69, 33, like it's always different. And that's what makes it fun, you know, because now you don't know. Now you really have to use the tricks. You don't. You cannot just look at the array and and have it your way. You know. You you would have to figure it out. So that's good. So the second thing is, well, it's saying here create a create a variable named the last one, and assign it the last element of my stupid array. So the last one. So we were talking. Let's keep. Let's keep. Let's go back to the previous. Ah, uh, here. Here. This one. So the last one is Tesla. Right? So if I want to print the last one, I have two options. I can first, I can say the last one, I can say Tesla, right? Oh, but that's cheating basically because, yeah, this is the exact same as the last item, but it's supposed to be done programmatically, not like hard coded here. It's supposed to be done with code. So another, th another way would be to say the last one again. But now putting here cars in the position, so 0, 1, 2, right? Remember, this is the position 0, this is the position 1, and this is the position 2. And then I can just say 2 here. That's another option, but these two options are bad because you never know if the motor is going to have more because arrays grow over time. Like, for example, if you have a software and someone signs up to your website, then the list of users is growing. You know, every time a user signs up, your list of users will grow. And you never know how much users you have unless you ask. How do you ask how much users I have? By like this, you say, or how much cars. It's the same thing, right? I would say, let size, it's equal to cars.length. And that's how I know the size of my array of cars. Look, console.log. Let's say here size, and then let's put the actual size in variable. Let's run it. Well, yeah, I have this syntax error here. Let me put this as a comment. There it is. Okay, if I run it now, you'll see that I have another another problem. Let me see which one. Ah, yeah, you cannot declare a variable twice with the same name. So I'm just going to put this one two, and that's it. There it is, size three, because it has three items, right? Zero, one, and two. So it size is three. So now let's do it with a dynamic array. Let's do it with this one. Uh, when I say dynamic, it's a dynamically generated array, an array that I don't know the values of. It's being dynamically generated or randomly generated. So console.log, this will be my stupid array, right? And then let's also console.log the length of that. So length, I'm just going to put a flag here so that I, I know the difference between the two console logs dot length there it is so my stupid array my stupid array dot length if i run it you'll see that this array has 97 items this array what about the next one 
this array has 13 items. Okay, but what about the last element? If I want to retrieve the last element, like how I'm being asked here, it's a it's mixing up tricks, you know. You know everything for to complete this exercise, but you don't know that you know it because it's all about create creativity. So in this case, we know that if we want to retrieve an element from an array in a particular position, we can just say one or two, right? What if we want to retrieve it in the last position and we don't know which one it is? All we have to do is say dot length minus one, you know? So what would be the last position? Const or let, let last position, it's equal to the total size of the array minus one, because you know that the position starts at zero, not at one, so you subtract one to it and that will be enough. Let's go back to the to the example of the cars, because I, I think that one was pretty explicit. And I'll show you. Okay, so here I was retrieving the position two. But what if I do, like I, like I said, if I do cars in the position length minus one, so it would be length is three minus one, two. So yeah, it's the, the position two, right? Length minus one, two. And it will always match. It will always be, if you test it, it will always be the position dot length minus one. So now with that knowledge, I can just go ahead and finish the exercise. So console.log of my stupid array in the position, well, I don't know the position yet, so let's say let position equals to my stupid array dot length minus one. So that's the last position. And that's what I'm gonna put here as a variable, you know? So last position, I don't know the value of it, but I do know that inside it contains the length minus one. So if I do my stupid array and I put here instead of half hard coded value, if I put this, then it will be the last position in the array that it's 41. Let's see. And we failed. Let's see why. Ah, yeah, because we didn't call the, the variable the last one. Yeah, let me let me do that part as well. It's telling us that we have to say let the last one equal this. And then we console.log the last one. So let's do it again. And now it's successful. I wanted to say something more and I don't remember. Ah, uh, yeah, that you can also do it inline. Like you can just copy here, this thing. You don't have to put it in last position. You can just put it like this. I know it's kind of weird. If you look at it, it's kind of weird. Like my stupid array in the position of my stupid array dot length minus one. That's super weird, but it's it works. You know, it, like you get used to that type of writing to do everything like inline and instead of having several steps and it, it will still print the same thing, you know, because it's the same integer here. When you when you subtract the length minus one, that becomes a number and then that number is being applied to the position of my stupid array and then everything works. So you get used to th those type of things.